I'm here with Michael Boudreau, editor-in-chief of El Decor magazine at Safara's 120th anniversary party. I believe people have been sleeping for that many years, isn't it? Isn't it though? How do you like to make your bed? Um, well, I have some spare sheets, let me tell you, and they're really fantastic. I like, I like a crisp sheet as opposed to sateen, and I really like to make it very simply. I don't like a lot of pillows. I know women like a lot to put a lot of pillows on their bed, but men always say, where do you put the pillows And when you want to go to sleep? I like a couple of good pillows, very simple, but really the best quality. And now, do you have a wardrobe that you like to switch out seasonally? Sure. Who tell doesn't? us about that. Collar, well, stripe, oh print. Colors. I have to, like I have a lot of embroidered sheets with just very simple lines, mostly in colors of like greens and greens and brown. I take all my sheets to the, my country house and hang them out on the line for like at least half the year, and they just smell amazing and they're crisp and wonderful. I love that. Now, do you iron your sheets or do you send them out in the city? Okay. I, I, or do you own a mangle? The, here's the old. I wish I had a mangle. Martha Stewart has the most gorgeous <laughs> mangle ever. <laughs> I just iron the pillowcases and the duvet cover. I only, I only iron what shows. A it's true a editor at heart. Yep, yep, absolutely. <laughs> you have a wonderful mangle, I hear. I have a giant mangle. Uh, I bought a hotel mangle, the one that irons a linen sheet, a king-size linen sheet, in 90 seconds. Two people have to do it. But I've learned how to use that. That's very special. I love iron sheets. I iron all my sheets. Okay, so you're not one that goes for the messy bed. You're all about the crisp iron bed. Yeah. Our bed, I think, says a lot about us. It's it's something in our apartment that is ever evolving, ever changing. We have a closet full of linens that we like to switch on and off, um, depending on the season and depending on our mood. We have antique beds, so we use antique bed linens, but we usually have new slip cases and sheets from companies like Sephora. How do you like to make your bed? Memorial Day to Labor Day is all about linen in our house and should be in everybody's house because linen is the most fantastic fabric to sleep on and it's always Italian linen because it absorbs and repels water faster than any fabric. Besides that, it's generally percale versus sateen and we're all about percale. I'm uh, basically a linen junkie. Love um, that. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a, an inexpensive habit. That's right. You know, I try and only sleep with the best, as they say. <laughs> And that's evolved over time, I have to be honest. Frankly, I see the bed as becoming a lot more of a lifestyle and luxury fashion experience. So you see it more like fashion with changing with the seasons and Definitely. color stories. Definitely. And Americans are the most sophisticated bed people in the world, I believe. Really? Yes. Why? Because I think they have a very fine sense of dressing the bed more than any other country and they have uh, almost more choices now than anyone else. Thanks for joining us at Safira's 120th anniversary. I'm Marissa Marc Antonio for Editor TV.